it's Rajiv. Then Hello, everybody. We are back with some minutes. more Walking Dead Season 2 blind playthrough. Really We're getting our first look at Carver's compound. They've put us outside, I guess, because they don't trust us, obviously. And, uh, yep, we're stuck out here with the overly optimistic Reggie, the rest of our group, and then we've also got Mike and that weird chick who was staring at us. Kenny has asked Clementine just to kind of have a look around to see if there's anything that we can possibly, you know, use to get out of here or to our advantage. There are so many people in this compound that I don't think we're going to have much luck. It looks like it's uh, sealed up pretty tight. Mm. Hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? I'm a kid. That's what kids do. Get sticky and touch things. But Ouch. it is, uh, it is looking pretty secure. And, I mean, it is a hardware store. They would have everything that they needed to make this place secure. And I can see that they've, you know, put things to good use. Reminds me of the jewelry store. The jewelry store? Were we in a jewelry store at any point? We were at the pharmacy. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Sometime, please. I asked really nicely. I don't want hey, to. What the hell is she doing? No. Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, kids. They love not listening. You had one job, Reggie. This is real disappointing. Gonna have to tell Bill about this. Please, come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know you. Ah, oh, damn it. Dad! Oh, you all fucked up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. He was trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. Hey! It's fine. I am Indian. Everybody get to bed. Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. I'll try. You'll do just fine. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. I hope Troy dies quickly. What an asshole. What? Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. Of course he is. Friendly fun family meeting. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now, there are some folks might be sore about what happened and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here, forgiveness, by proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. You know, Reggie slipped up last night, but that doesn't mean he should lose hope. 
today will be a test for him. So let's all wish him the best of luck. How'd you sleep? So let Reggie be an example I'm to you all. I'm so tired. Salvation is available, but... Pay attention. Kenneth will be I'll taking over later. Reggie's okay. duties outside okay. the wall. Okay, yeah. Sounds good. Michael will continue on I showing his value. Nice finally... Carlos! Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I... Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. S -s I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that one I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. Yikes. My... I'm not sure with my hand that I... Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! Not some namby-pamby thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. Go on, Carlos. Just get it over with. I'm not taking the blame for this one. I tried to tell her. I feel like I've stuck up for her quite a bit. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. Do it. Ooh. Damn, he did hit her hard. I'm sorry, Sarah. Stop! You're not coddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. God damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. You're working in the armory. Follow me. Soil, coming up! God damn this thing! Oh, shit. Clementine! Who is this? She's one of the new people. She was with Carlos and Sarah. Uh, and... Sarah? I wish she'd stayed gone. She's had a hard time, Becca. Oh, they're also so from wait. the 400 We're Days DLC. Ground, like babies. Are all these people from the... Huh. Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Okay. God, I wish I could remember what happened with Shell. I think that was hey, her name. I guess you're Bonnie, starting your day with me. The rest of them. We're loading magazines. Well, that's it. You got it. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. I mean, I think he would have came anyways. At least it was mine going into it. It was just a bad situation. That got worse. A lot of people are to blame. That's big of you, but I know what I've done. But I wanted you to know I regret my part in all this. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can she offer. She was probably right sent to scout, but I imagine Carver would have went anyways. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. Which is more than I can say about a lot of places out there. I was hungry. They didn't feed you? Bill said you'd eat every night. I haven't eaten since yesterday. I... I don't have anything. I'm sorry. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. When Luke approached me about it, I, I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're safe here. We got power, we got food. 
But you attacked them instead? Hey, I didn't attack anyone. Bill did all that. I didn't want... I wasn't expecting any of that to happen. I just wanted everyone to be safe. Out there ain't exactly all flowers and rainbows. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take this situation with the herd? That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to be somewhere comfortable for a while. What changed? I don't know. I've been trying to figure that out myself. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that maybe uh, yeah. was stressed. I wouldn't call it stress. I'm not defending what he did. That was... I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. Sounds like you really respect him. It's not that. I just have sympathy for the man. Even though sometimes it's hard for him to do the same. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but... I just hope he's safe. Me too. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Oh, nice. Something I can actually use. Huh? What do you think? I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for scan. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. It's cool. I like it. Well, I'm glad. I thought it was cute, but I didn't know what you'd think. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia. What? Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. Follow me. Come on. Looks like these are the greenhouses, possibly. They got solar panels all set up on the roof. Stay in here for a minute. I'm gonna radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. No. Sarah's in here. Freaking out. Hey. You want a hug? Okay, well, I owe you one for later then. You might not know what's coming though, but I could just sneak up on you when you're not expecting it. My dad's never hit me before. <laughs> Even when I was really bad. <laughs> he never hit me. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Don't mess this up. Oh. Yeah, I hey, get it. Hey, Reggie. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. I'm sure he's just thrilled. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Oh, and just so you know, Bill yelled at me this morning for what you were doing last night. I'm not mad, but please, please just listen to me today. I'm on, like, the thinnest ice with that guy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? That does sound pretty easy. No problem. Hey, so... 
Is she gonna be okay? Because what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. She's a baby. There's no helping her. Whoa, that's harsh, kid. I think if Bill did that to me, I'd cry a little too. Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. That was awkward. <laughs> I won't do that again. I'm gonna go work now. Oh, just a little bit. I mean, I'm trying not to be a total D-bag when it comes to Sarah, but I mean, come on. She's 16 years old almost, and sheltering... Ugh, sheltering just isn't going to help her at all. And I don't really know that helping her is going to do anything. Ah, I'm just going to do my own work. See, she figured it out on her own. She's doing fine. Oh, shit. Oh, no. What? What did you do? These are only half done. Are those live branches? Clementine, I asked you to help her. Oh. Just checking in. Did you? See how the new girls are working out. Damn it. I'm really fucking Reggie over. Like, really bad. Reggie. Yeah, Bill. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one shut arm, Shut up, so shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just... like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. We'll get it done. Just give us some more time. We... It was my fault. No, this ain't your fault. No, I actually... We I think it is this, this time. Reggie. Didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I, I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. Honestly, him asking me to help Sarah just went in help, one ear and out the other. I guess I should have helped her? Ugh, but I don't want to enable her. I... What do I do? What's wrong, Sarah? Oh my, no, I actually, I actually feel kind of bad. Not for Sarah, but for Reggie. Are you okay? I gave you plenty of chances. No, he's gonna push him. He's gonna push him. Weakness. Incompetence. It puts us all at risk. Oh. And it won't be tolerated. You think about that. The next time you're asked to do something. Shit. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! I don't doubt Sarah's there peeing in her pants. Oh no. Now I feel bad. I... That was probably preventable. Oh, hey. So, they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple, just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. What's wrong? Clem? You alright? Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe it was just an accident. Fuck no. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Hey, Troy. Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on.
Oh, no. Hey! That ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. There's some walkers out there, obviously, trying to get in. Which is not very comforting. At all. That's probably why they need the nails, Clementine. You might want to hurry up. So that that area can be reinforced. I ain't nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me. You ain't gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Yeah, this is a real help. Why don't you just worry about yourself? Reggie's dead. Carver killed him. What? You sure? Or did you? <laughs> Shit! Fuck! Grab something! Great. Great. Oh boy, more of this shit. Two by four. <laughs> the slowest escape in all of history. <laughs> Nice. We still got a uh, few others to deal with. Uh, I guess I'm going for the sledgehammer. Ah, oh, crap. Is that gonna get me killed? Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Okay. I wasn't sure if I should have reached for the weapon or not first. Oh, mash. Ah, uh, damn it. Sweet. <laughs> Arrow to the brain. Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me Thanks. save your ass. Jesus. Thanks, Troy. Oh, thank God, you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? Okay, I wonder if I'm safe just to kind of stand here. Well, no, never mind. <laughs> I walked forward too far, apparently. Is it Luke? Ah, ah, stop! Yes! Hey, it's me! It's Luke. Luke! Yes! Hey, bud! Man, bit the hell out of me. I think you drew blood. Come all this way. I was we all Hey, were. bud. Oh, it's good to see you too, kid. All right. Listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. Well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere, okay? They got guards watching everything. Shh, shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. folks talking about that but that ain't so okay it's gonna hit this place i know it is now i don't know when but it's coming and it's gonna be soon see i've been looking for places to to get you all free but i haven't been able to find anything yet are you feeling okay no no i mean uh, yeah yes sorry i i just could use some sleep you know hard to rest when you think a lurker's about to get the jump on you at any any moment but yeah <sighs> yeah i'm fine okay don't worry about me it seems dangerous well, the whole situation's dangerous, but, well, we're in it now. That's what we got. We just, we just need a plan and a way to get you and, and everyone. Did you fall into a mountain of cocaine, Luke? 
Luke? Oh, sorry, sorry, shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just, just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're, they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. We just gotta be smart, okay? We gotta plan. Where do I get one? I think they keep them in the stock room. I ain't completely sure, though. Just keep your eyes out for the charging station. You know, they put most of them back on there at night. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, Clementine, uh... get out where I can see you. Go on, get out of here. The hell were you doing? Huh? I was hiding from walkers. Don't go in there, you hear me? That is off fucking limits to you. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now. Of course he does. God damn it. Rebecca! She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. Uh-oh. Alvin? Yeah. Alvin! I noticed that right away. He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. Why are you doing this? Me and him, we got history. Understand? A couple things we had to get worked out. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are. And you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. I understand. I knew you were a smart girl. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. And we're more alike than you think. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared, but you looked me straight in the eye, kept your nerve. That's what we need if we're gonna get through this. The next generation has to be stronger than the last to Lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way. The way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. Ooh. But I ain't worried about that anymore. What if it's not yeah. yours? Yeah. Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. All right, now. Bill, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. 
It's almost supper time. Okay. Nice chatting with you. That probably could have gone worse. Possibly. Uh, I didn't piss him off too much. Because we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is going to do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous. Kenny, hmm. do not speak to me like that. Sound draws I don't want to mention but Luke. Was this girl, Molly. She used in bells front of to control strangers. Yeah, that's right. She had him running all over Crawford. We just need something loud. Well, unless you've got a megaphone tucked in your pocket, it doesn't help us much now. I still vote we get Luke the radio and wait for an open. Oh, come on. Never mind. You know about Luke? He flagged okay. us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, Never mind. we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? Look, Clem had it right. We just need something loud to get their attention. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw him when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. He's right. I saw them too. Really? It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Kenny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly uh... a cage either. Luke's in no shape to help us. You want to put our fate in that guy's hands? It's not happening. We should get the radio. I trust Luke. Luke. Doesn't hurt to have more information. I agree. Fine, fine. We can do that. But the herd is still what's going to get us out of here. Maybe Luke can tell us where it's hitting from. Okay, so we get that turret radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually... I do it all the time. Oh, hi. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. That's true. Now, I don't know who's crazier. Trust me. I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. We figured that out. What? It's how we got out of the Marsh House. Lee covered me, and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on. Up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. That's gotta be girl. brave. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. Oh, boy. They 
are just asking me to do everything. Try to hurry, all right? I don't think they're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see you not in your bunk. We're all done. This is also making a lot of Shit, noise. He's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. <sighs> Holy crap. We're in trouble. That is a lot of walkers. He wasn't kidding when he said it's a big herd. Okay, I am actually going to pause the game because I don't know if I'm going to be in danger here. And I'm going to try and stop. I'm finding it really difficult to stop and to not make these episodes super, super long. Um, so we're going to continue on from this point next time. Thank you all so very much for watching and I hope that you will join me again next time.